Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel for today's video. I am so excited I am gonna be doing my hair. I haven't done my hair in a while because I lost my trainer I have no idea where it is, but I bought a new one It just came in so this is the HSI professional. I already plugged it in. It's already hot and ready to go I'm just gonna section my hair a little bit and I'm gonna start so I like to section it in three my hair is kind of thick but it is what it is and I really went ahead and put some heat protector and I also And I also went ahead and put a heat protectant on. I'm just going to brush my hair and start using it. I want to say this one might be the one I used to have. I honestly don't remember the name of the one I used to have, but it was my favorite. I felt like it didn't really like make my hair smell like burned, which is what i hate the most like i hate when it smells like it's literally burned so i'm gonna go ahead and try a little section out and see how this goes Ooh, okay i really like that okay so i'm gonna show you how i do it but i know there's different ways to do it like different ways to twist it in but i like to just flip it and sometimes people just pull from here and that could work too it's an easier way and makes it more like loose which I also do absolutely love but I try not to make them so loose just because I'm already gonna brush through them it's just what I like to do at the end so usually I just go with the curl and I twist it all the way. You don't really have to do this though. It's kind of extra. You could really just twist one time and pull. But I just feel like this is what works for me. Like it is a little bit of a tighter curl than the one I did here. But honestly... I feel like it looks so much better once I brush it out and it it stays longer. Okay, perfect. I'm so in love. I already know that this is going to be my favorite. It doesn't smell burnt at all. It is perfect. It's a ceramic one too, which are absolutely the best ones okay so i already did the first section and i'm gonna go ahead and put more hair down and i'm just gonna put this one the ones that i already did to one side so i don't mix them and then from here i kind of just part to one side first I'm going to go ahead and do that section next. And I am going to put the... And I'm going to go ahead and clip this here. Okay, and I'm going to brush through this one before I go ahead and curl it. This is already coming out so cute. I'm so happy with this. Especially because the holidays are coming. My birthday's coming. I really wanted to get a new hair tool. And not being able to do my hair 
And I hate it not being able to do my hair. So this is just perfect. I'm gonna go through one time because that is kind of a big section. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a smaller section. Don't rush it too because a lot of the times I like to rush this. Even though this is honestly the easiest and fastest way for me to do it. I tend to rush this. And I'm just going to repeat this. Until I have to do the next section. I am not a professional just to let you know. Literally my hair doesn't always come out good but sometimes comes out decent okay and see like this where it's straight at the end I kind of want to go in more and just curl it there you go and I'm going to redo these sections because I feel like they did not curl enough. I had the heat like very low so I think that's why and I also got the big chunk. I honestly found out how to do my hair in middle school before that I had no idea how to curl it, how to do anything I knew I loved it curly, I just didn't know how to do it and a friend of mine's at the time she taught me how to do it with the straightener cause that's how she used to do it and ever since that's how I do it too I became like really good at doing it with the strainer that I just kept doing it. And I just find it convenient because most of the time I only really need one hair tool and I could do two things with it. It's nice. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the next section. I have honestly been wanting to dye my hair a different color I don't know what color yet I'm between like two things so comment down below if you have a suggestion of what hair color I should go or if you think I should keep it like this but honestly I tend to get bored of having the same color for too long. Even though I know it's not healthy to dye my hair so much. I don't know, I just find it boring. This is the longest hair color I have had since having like my virgin hair. Since Ever since I started dyeing it, I just kept on dyeing it like I want to say every three months or maybe two months but I have had this color for the longest time I tried to dye it as you saw in that other video if you saw that video I tried to dye it red but it did not turn out this is working out so nicely it's so easy if you ever figure out how to do your hair with the strainer I feel like it's so life changing like you don't need all these hair tools you could just use a strainer and curl your hair straighten your hair even um, do those beach waves I've seen people do the beach waves with the strainer, which I have never, but I would love to learn how to do that. Because I'm not really sure 
how to do that with the strainer but if I figure it out I will definitely do a video for you and I know some people love to use their hairspray after they curl their hair but honestly for me I don't like using hairspray that much my curls tend to stay when I curl my hair it will stay I I know for some people they don't stay I don't really know why they don't stay for some people but for me they do tend to stay straightened and curled it will stay the only problem I have with my hair is that it gets greasy really really quick and I don't like to wash it every day I do use dry shampoo sometimes but at the same time I don't like using dry shampoo so much because most of them tend to flake and it just I feel like it just makes my scalp look worse because sometimes I already get I already get dandruff and having to also get those flakes because of the dry shampoos I just don't like it like I love my dark hair color but I just feel like my curls would look so much better if they were like a lighter color if I had like a brown color or ginger or something else I feel like it would be so much cuter could possibly also be the fact that I'm wearing the black shirt but I just feel like it looks better with lighter colors I do have like a little bit of highlights and not because I dyed my hair with the highlights when I went dark it was supposed to be a dark brown but it turned out to be more of a black but because I had bleached my hair so many times before the lighter hair came through and it was as if I had highlights and I actually really liked it I really did not like it at the very beginning when they dyed it black I felt like it was too dark and before that I was so used to like my hair being light it was always blonde or like a like a light brown color before and I really really love that uh, when I went dark I wasn't sure if it was gonna look good on me or not but I wanted to go closer to my natural hair color just because I didn't want to damage my hair so much okay awesome now I'm gonna go ahead and do this little back section and I'm just gonna go ahead and brush through it first I'm not the best at sectioning my hair I'm aware but most of the time I really make it work I love it and I'm almost done like I said it's so so fast this with the curler probably would have taken me maybe half an hour and I feel like doing this with the strainer takes me 10 to 15 minutes it's just so much quicker And I like it because I'm able to control where I want the curl to go. So right now my hair looks messy. But I'm going to brush it and I'm going to section it off. And if I have to fix it one way, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So with the brush, I'm just going to brush through it lightly. And now go ahead and try to section my hair. 
Okay, and I love for these hairs to be a little bit more curly. So I'm going to go in again with the strainer. And this looks good the way it is already. I'm just going to curl this part here a little more. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and curl this part as well. Alright, I absolutely love it. I think it came out so beautiful. Maybe I'm going to go in just a little bit here. Okay. And I love it. All it needs is a little bit of more oil and it will look perfect. But yeah, I love to do these loose, like, curls. I feel like it looks so beautiful. As you can see, it's a little bouncy and it looks so cute. And, and this is definitely, definitely going to be my favorite hair tool now. And I love it. It's super easy to do your hair with. And it's ceramic, so it doesn't damage your hair that much. So you also need a really good heat protectant. I like to use the one from WOW. But yeah, that is going to be it for this hair tutorial. I hope you all loved it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my boyfriend's channel link down below. And go ahead and check out the channel I have with him as well. Remember to go check out those channels and hit that bell notification button. Subscribe for us. And also subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment down below, and I will see all you beautiful people in the next one. Bye!